नमस्ते वेलकम टू ब्लिशॉन कॉन्सेप्ट टीचिंग लेट्स डू द कंस्ट्रक्शन कंस्ट्रक्ट ए रेगुलर हेक्सागन ऑफ साइड फोर सेंटीमीटर कंस्ट्रक्ट ए सर्कल सर्कम स्क्राइबिंग द रेगुलर हेक्सागन अकॉर्डिंग टू द क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट वी हैव टू कंस्ट्रक्ट ए रेगुलर हेक्सागन ऑफ साइड फोर सेंटीमीटर लेट मी एक्सप्लेन दिस बाई यूजिंग द रफ डायग्राम ओके फर्स्ट यू हैव टू कंस्ट्रक्ट ए रेगुलर हेक्सागन ऑफ साइड फोर सेंटीमीटर here in my last video i have explained very clearly about the construction of regular hexagon so first you watch this video for the better understanding of the construction then you watch this video so that you can understand clearly okay so in this i have explained how to take 120 degree and how to construct a regular hexagon so watch this first okay then let me come to this construction we have constructed a regular hexagon of 4 cm then construct a circle circumscribing the regular hexagon to do this what we have to do we have to take the perpendicular bisector of any two adjacent side and we know to take the perpendicular bisector isn't it if i want to take the perpendicular bisector of ab i have to take more than half of ab and i have to construct a perpendicular bisector here we have to take the perpendicular bisector of any two adjacent sides here i am taking ab and af okay this is a rough diagram then the perpendicular bisectors they meet at a point they will intersect at this point then taking this point as center we will construct a circle isn't it just it's a rough diagram just adjust this okay and actually this is the method we have to follow for the construction but listen carefully if you follow this method you won't get a appropriate construction now let me show you what is the problem you are going to get if you follow this method see here if you follow this method then you will get a construction like this observe this construction see here the circle it is not touching the vertices of a regular hexagon isn't it there is a gap see so here the regular hexagon it touches the point but here the circle it is not touching the vertices of a regular hexagon so to avoid these mistakes in the exam we have to follow a trick that is first we have to draw a circle afterwards we have to draw a regular hexagon actually this is not the method we have to use but to avoid mistakes in the exam we are going to do this okay afterwards we have to follow the same method that is same what we have done here same thing 120 degree and we have to take the perpendicular bisector of any two adjacent sides if you follow this method then you will get a 
appropriate construction okay the examiner thinks that first you have constructed a regular hexagon and afterwards you have constructed a circle okay now let me explain how to construct construct a regular hexagon of 4 cm measure 4 cm it is 4 cm construct a circle of 4 cm So then take the scale, adjust your scale to this end so that you will get 4 cm. Try to draw a straight line, ok. So from here to this point it measures 4 cm. So you have to adjust in this way so that you have to get a straight line. Okay, it measures 4 cm, right? Keep the compass at this point and cut an arc. Keep the compass at this point and cut an arc on the circle. Keep the compass on this point and cut an arc. Keep the compass on this point and cut an arc. Now join this. In the exam, they will tell you to show you the traces of construction. See here. So you have to watch this video completely. Here in the traces of construction, we have shown this, isn't it? It measures 120 degree, 120 degree. We have produced this line like this. This is the traces of construction. Now let us show the traces of construction, okay? Adjust your compass to any measurement of your wish. Keep the compass at this point. Draw an arc like this without changing the measurement of the compass. Keep the compass at this point and draw an arc like this. Keep the compass at this point and draw an arc like this. See here, it measures 120 degree. In the same way you have to do here. So it measures 120 degree. Here also you have to do the same thing. Keep the compass at this point and draw an arc like this. Then keeping the compass at this point, you have to draw an arc. Okay. Then keep the compass at this point. Draw an arc like this. Keep the compass at this point and cut an arc. Okay. It measures 120 degree. Right, 120 degree. Okay. Let us name this first A, B, C, D, E, F. Let us produce these two lines. These are the traces of construction. That's why. Like this. Let us produce this. Now let us take the perpendicular bisector of any two adjacent sides. We know that to construct a perpendicular bisector 
we have to take more than half of AB. Then keep the compass at this point and cut an arc like this. Keep the compass at the point B and draw an arc like this. Okay. Now join this. Now let us take the perpendicular bisector of AF. Keep the compass at this point and draw an arc like this. Keep the compass at this point and draw an arc like this. Now join these two points. These two perpendicular bisectors, they meet at this point. Name this point as O. This is the circumcenter of a regular hexagon. And we have also constructed a circle circumscribing the regular hexagon. Isn't it? And in this, we have shown the traces of construction also. Hope you have understood. Thank you.